windows. Can't live with them, can't live without them. First thing we're going to do today is tackle the windows on the uh, small wooden ice house project. And basically I'm going to be dealing with uh, the following pages. Here's page four and it gives a very good example of how these uh, five layers of windows are created. And we're gonna go through that step by step. That's page four. Then on page nine is where you're gonna find um, the windows laid out by layer and define which layer is what. And I'll explain what you need to cut and what you don't cut. Now let's take a look at the typical window assembly that could be applied to this project as well as other projects depending upon the window design. Whether the windows are, are recessed or in this case they're not recessed, they are just flushed with the structural wall. So on page four, I'm just going to read the notation. They say in the typical window assembly, Diagram shown below, the window glass layers are made from clear plastic and packaging tape adhered to the layer beneath. Windows glass 1 to window layer 2 and window glass 2 to window layer 2. And all those layers are, are diagrammed beginning with layer 1, your window glass, window layer two, the upper window glass, which is window layer three, and window layer three, excuse me, all going on assembled and then adhered to the back of the, of the wall, plus with additional layers on the exterior side of the wall, which basically is building up the trim. Okay, in this project, we've got the two walls that have windows in. In this case, I've added an additional window to the side wall of the shed, plus there's a window that was designed there to begin with at the end wall of the shed. And what I've done is to go ahead and cut out all these trim pieces. And basically, I've cut the, uh, the, the sill by itself, I've cut the top layer by itself, and the side trims, as well as these upper layer, the upper trim and, and lower uh, trim on the sill, finishing trim. <clears throat> I went ahead and cut those all out as individual pieces. And then went into my um, cut out wall and assemble those individual pieces uh, with the, the base trim first and the upper trim on top. And you can see that it's given a lot of added relief. Let's see if I can go a little closer here. Yeah, you can see the additional leaf it's created. Relief. See the additional re relief it's created here. The next thing you want to do is go to page nine and we're going to cut out these individual window layers, the three layers you see here. And these will go behind the wall. All right. You can see here that I've cut out the panes of all the windows. And basically you know how to do that because these are white. And to do that, I'll show you an example, is we're going to take one of these panes and I'm going to use this awl. And the first thing I want to do is place the awl in, in one of the inside corners of the window as close as you can get to the corner. And you're going to go around that window and do all the corners like that. When you get to the lock, you're going to go around the lower edge of the lock and do that, the latch. I'm going to do two more for you. 
All right. Now let's take a look and uh, see how close I can get here. There we go. Now, this is the window that I've done the four holes in. Let's turn it over and see if we see those holes. As you can see the preparations, that's what you've done. Now you're going to turn it over on the right side. And hopefully you'll be able to see past my hand. Just to take your knife and doing this all by hand is you're going to cut down first on the center panes and make light, smooth passes. And the reason you put those holes in there is you can start with the top hole as a locator and the bottom hole tells you when to stop. And you're going to make about three passes and you'll feel when you've gone through the paper. Now let's take a look. You see, the, you see we've cut through the paper like that? This is to get clean edges. Now you can see what we've done. And of course, always you'll go in from the back side like this. You can get it in frame here. Like that. I have to do it this way. It's probably the best. All right, so you're going to go around, the, go around and do all the windows like that, removing all the white portions. Okay, so the next step after preparing the uh, window panes, cutting out the white part and uh, using your trusty dusty marker to cover up the white edges of the cardstock, we're going to refer to page four. Um, in the kit notes on the PDF that came with the kit. And this, uh, the, the, the title of this is Building the Lean-To Rear Wall, which is what we're working on right here. If you can see that. So here's the close-up of the Lean-To Rear Wall. And this is the rear wall right here. So the next step is, is to take these windows that we've cut out, all right, and we're going to follow the instructions on page four of the kit notes. So what more could you ask for? All right, I'm going to read the, the instructions on the kit notes, okay? What they want us to do is to take window layer one, which in our diagram is, okay, this is window layer one right here. No panes to cut out. That's your base layer. And what they want us to do is to take a piece of clear packing tape large enough to cover the, the window layer one. After, and the window layer is defined as anything inside the red marker. Anything inside the red marker. And it says, be careful to not want any wrinkles or fingerprints on the tape and carefully apply it to the printed side, the printed side, not the back side. We're going to apply it to the printed side of layer one. So let's do it. First, I'm going to cut, cut out window layer one. That's the one on the left side. So now, we've cut out window layer one. Let's bring it a little closer. Let's 
there's window layer one. Okay, then, so now pull out your handy dandy packaging uh, applicator with a roll and pull the tape out enough and look to see that there's no streak marks on the tape or fingerprints or anything else. You give yourself ample size. So then the next thing is we're going to apply it to here. And I'm going to look as best I can in here and I don't see anything. I'm going to put it over the entire window as cleanly as I can. And it's said to make sure that you don't get any wrinkles or anything like that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to trim it. You could trim it with scissors, but I'm going to trust my handy dandy crafting knife here. get rid of all the sticky stuff. All right. Now, let's take a look. What do we got here? There it is. No wrinkles. Looks per I can't even tell the tape's on there. So that's pretty cool. The next step in referring to the kit notes is to go down and take window layer two and it tells you to put it on your, uh, your work desk. And the first thing we have to do is cut it out on the red lines. So we're gonna do that. white excess stuff off of here. Just be careful. Take a uh, light touch on your knife because you don't want to wrinkle or tear the cardstock. Okay, good. Next thing is just to cut it apart. Okay, next I'm going to put the, uh, the, the plastic glass layers in the window assembly and what I found online is I got this on Amazon it's probably more than you need 50 sheets but I'm going to be using it over and helping it, some other guys with it but this particular uh, one is it's called craft plastic sheets uh, it's 12 by 12 and they are 0 0.007 thickness of an inch, so seven thousandths of an inch. Uh, in millimeters, it's 0.18 millimeters thickness. 
And what's nice is each sheet has this uh, protective piece of paper behind it. It's not adhered, it's just static to it. I've already cut my section out here. And as you can see below, right here, are my panes of glass. And it's already come off. So next, I'm going to go ahead and put, after putting the packaging tape on, I'm going to take my base layer, my base window layer, and apply glass to it. Through different research and checking out, I found this canopy glue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Found this canopy glue online. It's two ounces. It's around five dollars. I think it's on Amazon. There's other sources for it. And that, and because it dries clear, it pretty dries pretty quickly. That's what I'm going to use to glue the uh, plastic glass layers in the window assembly. So I'm going to put a few drops on the corners. And pray for the best. This will be a real test to see how clear it dries. Okay. We've uh, now gone in and we put glass on uh, window layer one and we put glass on the bottom half of window layer two. And then we're going to glue those two layers together. That's part of the instructions. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is use this very sparingly. Uh, I'm going to use this canopy glue using a Q-tip. Here's layer number one. Let's see what happens here. And now we have to align these up properly. Which, let's get some light on here and look at it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Looks like we've got pretty good alignment right here between the bottom and the top between window layer number one and window layer number two after putting the glass on all right so the next step is to uh, cut out window layer number three and we're going to glue it on top of window layer number two. Okay, now that we've got uh, window layer number three cut out, and we're just going to check how it lines up. 
on top of that. Not bad. All right, now you can see window layer number three on top of the two glass layers and the two window layers. Now we're ready for the last step in the window assembly. And what that means is we're going to glue the window assembly to the back of the wall. And we'll be finished. Let's go ahead. In this case also, I'm going to just use a Q-tip to place, in a, place this glue sparingly. at the corners and around the side parts you might even want to try a tooth toothpick I just don't have one handy at the moment. For this. Okay. Now we're going to line it up properly. A little pressure on here. Now you can see what we've got. Not too shabby. Now that we've assembled the windows for the small wooden ice house, let's take a look at where we are in terms of the total assembly progress. As you can see, we've got all the walls assembled with the details. And what, what does that consist of? We have both ends uh, and our lap siding and trim, and also the details of the hinges of the ice house doors. We have the side walls with lap siding and trim. And for the lean-to, we have, of course, Assembled all our windows, installed those. We put the trim, we have the lap siding, and all the, uh, the painting and weathering matches up for the lap siding details, as well as we have the, the swing out doors here. So, made a lot of progress. Now, let's take a look at what we're, uh, now let's take a look at the isometrics to recheck ourselves for the next part of the target. Here you can see the small scale wooden ice house isometrics. And then here's the details of the lean-to view. And what we'll be doing in the next episode is assembling all these walls. And then uh, the follow-up would be um, working on the foundation, the stone foundation, and its supports, and of course, the roof, and we will be putting details of the shingles on that. Again, appreciate your patience on this project. What I've tried to do is show you the simple steps and what you, what you would be going through if you were doing the details, especially in this case of the windows assembly. So I look forward to our next episode. Thanks as always for your continued support. And most of all, have fun.